Hey everyone, really quickly wanted to give a little disclaimer to skip. There is a timestamp below. However, I do recommend listening through at least once to have a better understanding of how tarot works. So how does tarot work? Tarot is meant as a guidance tool to help one see what may come and with intent be able to shift the energy to be more in favor. Please be mindful that all the messages on YouTube are for a general audience. They won't resonate every single time. I like to say if it's in the title, it's in the message. For information on the energy cleanse kits that I offer, the tarot course I've created, extended versions to the readings or the events that I will be attending, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. Hello, everyone, and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, viewers, and the world out there. Today, we're looking into Aquarius's full moon energy reading for the month of January. This full moon will peak on January 17th. It will be in the sign of cancer. It will probably involve a lot of emotions. Whenever there's water energy involved in a full moon, this indicates that we are to release something emotional from our life. Let's tap a little bit deeper into these energies here, Aquarius, and see what we can see for you guys. We're first going to tap into what's no longer serving you. We'll see how to release this energy and where this is all headed. Clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice guidance moving forward. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you find the messages helpful or resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel and getting the message out. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all freaking amazing. Aquarius. Your energy that you need to release. We have the Ace of Cups. Now what I will touch on Aquarius is whenever we are looking at a specific card that's in a negative position we always want to look at the shadow aspect of that card in the reverse the ace of cups symbolizes ignoring one's emotions okay now there's something here that you may be holding back from speaking on to a loved one friend or a family member that is really well it's i feel here it's causing some disruptions in your life and imbalance okay you have a decision to make. I feel here you're being called to come forward and stand your ground. Say what you need to say. Maybe more difficult than you would like to admit. But I feel here, Aquarius, that once you get this off your chest, it is going to be worth it. Now, Those are your cards for your advice guidance moving forward, okay? On the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Coins. So there is a new beginning that's being presented. Now, this could be a brand new relationship. This could also symbolize a brand new phase in a relationship. Currently, Aquarius, you not speaking about how you feel is really holding this back. So let's clarify this Ace of Cups energy. Knight of Wands in the reverse. I feel like they're you're getting ready to come forward. Maybe something this person had did or said had hurt you. Okay. Um, they didn't run something by you financially, or they said something behind your back to a family member that you would have rather them discussed with you. But first. But I feel here, even if this, you know, you may see this as something that's minimal. But I feel this isn't really as minimal as you would like to portray. And I feel here, Aquarius, that until you and this person have a disagreement, 
This isn't going to come to the surface. But if you just get this off your chest, this won't, you won't implode with this information. Okay, you won't implode with this energy. I do feel like this is causing a little bit of an imbalance for some of you. This is causing a major disruption. So you need to be honest with yourself in the present moment. I feel like things are going to balance out. You're headed in a positive direction here, Aries. Uh, but what I feel here in the present moment is you may need to take some time by yourself. Readjust, reevaluate, recalibrate your energy. And then have a discussion about how you feel. So Aquarius, your advice, guidance moving forward in this energy, judgment, the lovers, and the moon. So Aquarius, what we see here is there's a deep connection that's felt. This is most likely a, a lover somebody who you have a deep connection with long-term. But these hidden feelings are going to cause some disruptions moving forward. It's going to be easier to discuss this now than to hold on to this and wait because it may become bigger than you would like it to by suppressing it. feel like this is a bigger deal than what you're making it out to be because we have a lot of majors involved and I didn't really pull very many cards. You think about it. It's not going to be that difficult. I feel like your perception of this conversation being difficult is what's causing this to be held up. Just say what you need to say. Get it off your chest. Your blessing message here, Aquarius, we have embrace your freedom. You gain a huge amount of freedom when you take nothing personally. No spell can affect you regardless of how strong it may be. Even if you live without, and if you live without fear, if you love, you will be happy with your life. Don't take anything personally. Embrace your freedom. Beautiful, beautiful. So Aquarius, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support, for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.